baby crying noises. Oh, the fucking blinking. I hate it. Cuddles for me too. Yes, everyone cuddles. All the cuddles. What's this? Woo! Oh, save spot? Okay. Well then. Look through the rest of this house around the bomb. Same old junk. <gasps> oh! Fucking Christ! Fucking close the door in my face. <clears throat> okay. Oh! Holy fuck, brother. It's not that way. <laughs> that jump gets me every time, then running towards the camera, screaming. rules okay I'm gonna go chase down this son of a bitch one and two god damn it and now they're all taken well I need to hold that Where are you in the night of the 15th? Back here. Know where it is, though. Here. Just where to find the flashlight. Perfect. Now I know. <laughs> what the fuck, brother? Oh, what's this? Didn't find this before.
Oh, save spot? Okay. Well then. Look through the rest of this house around the bomb. Same old junk. <gasps> oh! Fucking Christ! Fuck. What? Uh. Thank you, Tree, for those biddies, by the way. Don't make sounds, walk slow. Get the rib cage. Oh, I need to hold that. Where are we going? Oh, uh, fucking clip player. Hi, everybody. How's it going? Hope you're having a splendid Sunday. Hope it was a great weekend. Uh, hope you're all ready to kick this week's upcoming ass. Uh, I'm looking forward to. Doing that myself for the first time in a month and a half. Uh, starting the new job tomorrow, so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be something. The good news is that uh, I know a bunch of people that work there, so it's gonna feel like I'm I moved back to the school that I moved away from or something. I don't know. <laughs> Trying to give a better metaphor there on the spot wasn't happening. Anyways, uh, so yeah, hope you all had a good weekend. Uh, mine was good. Uh, uh, let's see, yesterday I spent all day with Amanda for our, uh, five-year wedding anniversary. Uh, we had a fantastic time. I probably got the best steak I've ever had in my entire life. Um, it was decadent. <laughs> but, uh, and then today I just kind of hung low and I was, uh, trying to get my work laptop set up, but there's something going on with it. There's like an error when trying to configure it. My assumption is that I don't have any access uh until tomorrow so i'll be able to figure that show tomorrow i'm not worrying about it now uh yeah otherwise good weekend uh i am uh excited to continue forward in alan wake 2 tonight um curious how many more streams we're going to get out of this because i do want to move to Silent Hill 2, the remake, at some point. I may even just derail the schedule um, after a couple... I have, I have two more obligations I have to get to by the end of next week, I think. Uh, but outside of that, if we can finish Alan Week 2 around then or just after, like, I think we'll just play Silent Hill 2 right through, like, every stream. Because I, really, I feel like it's the most anticipated horror release of the year. I mean... Uh, and I'm just hearing nothing but good things about it. Uh, for reference, if I go here, look up Silent Hill 2. It is fucking expensive, which sucks. I was hoping I was going to get a uh, key for it. Uh, they never said no, but they also never said yes. And I'm just like, well, it's been, uh, it's almost a weekend. Anyways, not a big deal. Um, so far... In the five days it's been out, it has amassed 10,739 user reviews. 
Uh, 94% of them are positive, so it has a very positive rating. I think once it hits 96, might even be 95, it's overwhelmingly positive. So it's it seems like most people are really enjoying it. I'm sure there are some that don't because, well, let's see. I might make a more depthful review later on when I actually beat the game. This is an hour in. But anyways, I'm probably not going to place this for play, place this for a bit until it's better optimized. The traversal stutter is annoying. Nothing major, but the soundtrack only being 10 tracks is quite an issue for me. The only reason I bought the deluxe edition, I'd be okay with it if it was advertised only 10 tracks and as a selection, but it's not. So I think that should be altered. I mean, you're buying an album. An album has nothing to do with the amount of tracks. It's the amount of time. So that's weird. Um, and yeah, if it's not optimized, it's really bothering his ability to play the game and it, you know, it's annoying. It maybe hurts his eyes. I say his, I don't know why, uh, theirs, but I mean, hopefully that stuff gets fixed. I mean, I would want it to get fixed. <clears throat> and that was only an hour in, but I, so I can only assume that that, that, uh, Blinking or whatever really, really fucking bothered this person. Hopefully we don't have that same uh, bit. I mean, this game is $70. Like, Jesus. Anywho, uh, so we ended up uh, having Fry, well, I, I say we had, Fry decided at a, her own generous heart, saw that at $700, we'd be playing Scrutinized. Uh, we were, like, I was it was less than twenty five dollars to getting to seven hundred bucks, and she immediately went in and donated another twenty five dollars, and made sure to select spin wheel, uh, or wheel spin rather. So I gonna, so we're gonna be doing a wheel spin. Uh, so thanks to Fry, and uh, yeah, one and done, baby. Give me something. Give me something good. Don't hurt me. I gotta get good sleep tonight. I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh. Great. Uh, so, this is the Garlic Moruga Hot Sauce from Gonzo Sauce. This is one of the hottest ones that I have. <clears throat> it's, uh, rated three out of three peppers. Very hot. Not good. Uh, Garlic Moruga Scorpion Pepper Mash, Avocado Oil, White Wine Vinegar, Water, Fresh Lime Juice, and Zest. Toasted mustard seeds and spices. Yum. <laughs> I need to know if this one hurts just as much as the other one. Um, I can tell you this one, I don't think it had that. It's like a little bit of lime and then immediate pain. So, but we'll, we'll see. <laughs> it didn't taste bad. I'll put it that way. Oh yeah. Good amount of lime. And then just pow. Oh. As soon as I can recover from this, and hopefully it's soon, um I am going to uh I'm gonna start playing. And then um, I'm expecting Amanda to get home at 10.30. And um, I'm going to tuck her and the, uh, I see the children, the dogs to sleep. Um, tuck them into bed. And uh, I'm watching a mirror now. Out! Oh! 
I can't believe I did that right. Holy shit. Great. So we got to do another spin now. Oh. Great. Well, to finish my thought, thank you, Fry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, um, after I tucked them into bed, uh, around 10.30, so a little over an hour from now, um, we will take a slight break, and when I come back, we will read the story. <clears throat> oh. That's if I'm able to talk in a few minutes. Yeah, so I feel like this one, it's not as hot as the Reaper, but the pain is still there. Because it, it's immediate, it's wherever it touches. Whereas the Reaper, I think, is a bit more concentrated in a specific area versus like wherever it's touched. But it's still way hotter. Oh. The tendon, the top of my hand, it's been like clicky today. Don't like that. The hell I did. Sucks getting old. <laughs> uh, okay, it's... Pretty sure I've hit the peak of this. So I'm going to be daring. Now I'm going to do the second spin. Uh, Bahan Star, okay. It's better. Still not... Still not fucking... Wild. Oh. Who is this band? Oh, they suck. Stone Cold want to have little cheeseburgers before he kicks Vince McMahon's ass. Fuck you, Tim. Wow. So angry. MV. <laughs> So, uh, thank you again to Riz for, I'm sorry. Well, thank you, Riz, for being here. And another thank you to Fry for um, uh, the resub, 40 months. <clears throat> it gets me every fucking time. Every fucking time. <sighs> hey, I'll take the thank you. Fair enough, Riz. <laughs> Uh, so, anyway, she resubbed. It's another spin. It's another hot sauce. So, no whiskey, no double candy, no no rigged spins. <laughs> Should have been. <laughs> Anywho, this is the Bahan Star from Gonzo. <clears throat> it's rated three out of three, but only hot, not very hot. So, this is like. If those are the S tier for hot, this is the A tier for hot, which is still like, fuck. <laughs> it's got dill pepper mash, carrots, onion, horseradish root, mustard, vinegar, and spices. Am I being the fraud or not again this evening? What's the fraud or not? I'm, do I'm doing the fucking... <laughs> I'm doing the hot sauces. You rigging spins. Oh my god, I was... This is, this is a joke from the last stream or... No, two streams ago. Um, it it got like a bunch of like easy shit in a row. I think it was double candy, and it was like it was like it's rigged, and I was like it's not rigged. <laughs> I can even pull up the fucking configuration and prove it to you. Just let me you know hurt myself a bit more. Here's Rigged. Ooh. I forgot how this one tasted. It's really still really good. The fact that there is a configuration all screams rigged. The configuration of the fucking spinner, you dumbass. It's on stream elements. Hold on. 
Well, if I can show you all. I bet you use that same creation to seed clouds, you fucking monster. I mean, who else? Like, that's, hello. Why wouldn't you? Two for one. Oh my god. Thanks, stream elements. I'm awake. Streaming tools. Overlays. Hot sauce, wheel of fortune. <laughs> Edit. And... Let's see, let me find that's the image. No. Settings, and now I will do streaming display. Let me zoom us in here so you can see just fine. Here's the settings. Change the image, image size, position size, and style. That's it. And then layers, unless it's in layers, then I totally get it. Oh, maybe it's custom widget. Huh? Oh, this is it. Okay, okay. I was like, there's supposed to be more than this. I bet use that. Oh, yeah. I, he fixed it first. Yeah, that's what took so long. It's layers of rigging. Yes. <laughs> so I just, here's the command. Here's the name of all of them right in a row. The different colors. For those colors there. So I know there's a configuration that says like rigged spins. What is that? Mount modifier, tip amount, keyword modifier, options count. This is like the spin. Max chance for rigged result is 5%. Guys, I stand corrected. I am actually, I am actually, I feel horrible right now for myself. I knew that there was a setting and I think I laughed at it. But I, I just, I, I must have taken whatever the default was and just said, fuck it. Well, there you have it. I have now fixed it. It is closed up. Rigged to what? I don't know. Five. Percentage of rigged. Five. That's all it said. How many spins has it been the way you have to respin all of them? <laughs> no. I've had plenty of bad spins. <sighs> like, <laughs> 818? <laughs> Uh, anyways, uh, redo. No, no Ralph Nadering in this chat. Damn it. All right. Um, so I'm going to read this story in a little bit, uh, but we are going to get started with on week two. Um, oh, I'm also going my to my disappointment. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Is immeasurable. And my day is ruined. It's fine. I understand. Oh. There's that. Thanks. So glad you're here, keyboard cat. So, the Among Us community stream is going to be coming up soon, by the way. Um, probably not this upcoming week, but probably the week after. But uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll try to squeeze them this week. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to try to just survive this and get starting with the game. Whew. Let's do it. Bye, Twitching Tongues. For now. All right.
boo, 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 boo. Great load sequence, dude. Dude, there we go. Oh yeah, we made it to this fucking lab. Okay. Take a look at the map. Box. There's a container in there I missed. Like, there's a couple places we can visit. That looks important in the security room. There's a way through the office. <sighs> Don't talk to me like <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Every last one of them. <sighs> I don't know why you're so mad at me. I don't know why you're yelling at me either. David, hold on. Tor, wait! It's me! Polish! Oh, where is Tor? Where is Tor? What is that, Polish? How are you doing? Tor left the wellness center. And the story. For later. Okay. Got it. Oh, boy. So our go Oh, shit. I don't want to... All right. Um, primarily, I should fucking follow him into the rehabilitation. But I kind Check the other doors too. That's the locked one, figured. Oh, wide open. I can find some stuff before I go that way. Probably have a terrible fucking battle with a bunch of taken. Third one, I think. Thought I did a <clears throat> Looking forward to tomorrow, bro. Same, same. Okay, I'm gonna lurk. All right, heavy. Enjoy your lurk, sir. Doc Rose and me found Mr. Anderson knocked down on the floor by phone. Burns on hand and cut on head. Was out c cold, so brought him here. Been acting strange all week. Take good care. He is VIP. Uh, excuse me. Uh, uh, excuse me again. Oh, ever since I touched that door, that boy ain't happy. Can light on in here? No? Bastards. Fucking dumb. <clears throat> oh, what the fuck was that? Like a gurgling noise. I'm like, that's not right. Security room is locked that way. Oh, wait. <clears throat> I'm already lost. Oh, okay. That's the exception. That's how we out. That's where we, so that's where we had come from. That's why we knew that was locked. Okay. Got it. Patient room to the left. This, yeah, we already checked in here. And then moved around. Okay. Fuck this door. Can't be opened on this side. Okay. There's only one way to go. Uh oh. Thunder and lightning makes everything scarier. Come on. That was bullshit. <sighs> Door is locked electronically. 
It's controlled role. You need to find the controls. Okay, yeah. So the security room, like what I was going for. It's on some. An electric Bitches. lock. Door must remain unlocked like during business hours. Well, I guess it's not business hours. Try this door over here. Hey -o. Oh, and this opens this door to get back to the main hallway. Sick. Okay. Then this is gonna. What was that last? Yep, office. Then hallway to workshop, bathroom, and then security room. Perfect. Like I wrote this. Not really. I should be able to bypass the TTS cooldown when I have something funny. Well, write it down. Then <laughs> you won't forget. I um I wonder if there is some bypasses I could do though. Now that I think of it. I'll have to look into uh fix it up. So maybe I could at least make that a possibility. I wanna go back that way. Door. Oh, great. This doesn't look weird. Oh. Let the door close. I was like, oh, fuck. Bathroom. Nothing in the shitter. Can open that one, apparently. Alright, bathroom's clear. That's security. Let's check out the workshop. I probably did the key for it. This door needs a knob. Oh. I don't have any knobs, sorry. <laughs> security room is wide security open, though. Computer. Got that. Ooh, yes. Gotta stay healthy. Alright, before I touch that, what's over here? Vladimir Bloom. You've been accepted into the prestigious ranks of our most hallowed organization. Such you will join our noble cause and be privy to our most guarded secrets. The ceremony will take place the day after the next moon, as is tradition. Call to the tree welcomes you, Yako, Yako and Ilmo Koskela. The Koskela brothers aren't just in the cult. They're its damn leaders. I figured. I kind of picked that up myself already. But good that you found evidence that proves it. Oh. Alt. There we go. Confirmed cult member. Sick. Right. I can't open that up yet for obvious reasons. This. Ooh, more hints. Day, then month. He uses European formatting. Bad day, this is a stupid house where something always breaks. I fix, I always fix. All people do not respect me. I should ask for a raise. Hurrah, my acceptance letter has arrived. I am one of the gang now. Svidania Sv to the boring old lad. Hello to the exciting new man about town, lad. <laughs> I will buy vodka and herring to celebrate. This month, everything will change. I didn't take care of the dead raccoon over by the bunker. Smelled very bad. Not good for my hangover. <laughs> and got his drink on. Oh. Got here. Oh, they have all the, the moons circled for each month. Day after the new moon. Mm, yeah. Water from the toilet. Horse. What? Water from the toilet. Yeah, it's really healthy. Shuffle. <laughs> what? <laughs> the name of fuck. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fucking bizarre. Welcome in, my friend. Thank you for the bits. 
Oh, for later. Okay. Well, glad I got it. Later I'd be like, oh no, what happened to the story? Alright. Needs a password. And a warrant, technically. But hey. <laughs> the times. Yeah, no shit, huh? It also a warrant. Alright, so this is password to security computer. Door. The computer controls the door that Tor went through. Okay. It's a common password. This might be something here. True. Blum was looking forward to something in August. Their standing initiation is the day after the new moon. I have what I need to figure out the password. Yep. The day after the new moon in August. Day after the new moon, which is August 16th. It's actually August 17th. So, he also writes in European, so it's day before month, so it would be 1708. Hydration sound. Why? <laughs> totally just threw me off. 1708. Hopefully, it's only four things. 70. Fuck. What year is it? 2023. So, it will be 170823. One seven O eight two three. Fuck yeah, baby. First try. That's what's up. <laughs> Unlock the door. And the doors are open. Riddle for your rifle. Little doorknob that's out of place, but solve these clues and you can trace the way to your private space. I meet you at the greet inside a bright glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. I can get it. I could go get a rifle. Why don't you take the doorknob to my personal room? I'm sick of old people tricks. You bring it back so I can get my rifle. I'm supposed to go on deer hunt tomorrow. If you don't, I will hunt you instead. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's... I was looking for that doorknob. Glad I do not need to remind you that Tor and Orden be ideal candidates for the cult. Please try harder to recruit them. Alright, so... At the greet inside a bright glassy cave. Hopefully, I can remember. There's Tor, and he's out of his mind. Yeah, look, he's holding a fucking Need hammer. To get, to him. get some chips on the way by Tor. Yeah. My old grandpappy, after a bottle of whiskey, would have walked around with the hammer and put holes in the walls. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Guess I should see if we have. A... Oh yeah, I can open this door now. Oh no, I can't. That's right. Dur. Uh. <clears throat> oh, I could probably go through this way because I probably unlocked the door, right? Like, I didn't actually unlock the door itself, but it just unlocked. Uh oh. Um. Which way to the greeting? Oh, it's here. How do I get in there? It says where the, uh, the glass case or whatever. Uh, there is Tor.
Cult of the Tree. Email pressuring Bloom to recru uh, recruit cult members. An email about recruiting Torn Odin to the cult. <clears throat> Closing up a lot. We're getting a lot of those ends lined up, but uh, for whatever reason. Not stay with me. Thought it would have. Meet you at the greet inside a bright, glassy cage where pretty flowers bloom. Yeah, there's look, flowers there. Like, it's... Oh, that's what's making the glug glug noises. How am I supposed to... There's no way to get in here, I don't think. Doorknob's probably in there. See, there's another way I can go from in here. Oh, maybe that door's open. I go through the staff lounge. Fantastic. Love that that was just wide open. Makes my life a little bit easier, at least. Right here. It's always take more ammo. Get down here. Ah -ha. Oh, there it is. Nothing else. Don't need anything else, honestly. All right. I'm gonna go back through security. I'm gonna get my rifle. Try that on for size, because I'm pretty sure that dude's gonna break out of his fucking room at any minute. <clears throat> Manuscript page? Us. Uh, Dilma was nervous, his palms were clammy, knees weak, arms spaghetti. He lowered his phone. All again isn't picking up. Jaco shook his head, pointed at his own phone. Same with Thornton. Dilma didn't like it. No one was answering the phone at the workshop in water or either. Nothing was up. It had to be the writer. It had to be. Pascala brothers were crouching in the bushes across from the Elderwood Palace Lodge. Its light shining in the night. They couldn't wait any longer. The brothers knew Saga was in watery, visiting her trailer. Going now was the only chance to do this without hurting her. Almost stood up in crowd of deer masks looked his way. Hey, this is it. The writer is the target. Take him down and it's all over. Only shoot the Fed if you have to. This is our big moment. We watch in the night. Crab remembered the chant back to him. Mo turned to face the hotel. He could see Saga's partner in the window. Almost slapped his brother on the shoulder. The brothers donned their masks. The cult of the tree was ready. Aww. That didn't really turn out that well for really any of us, actually. Oh, my inventory is full. I can't access my inventory from in here. Fuck. I mean, it makes sense, though. Shit. Um. Oh, yeah. And I probably need three, if not four, of those squares. Shit. Oh, touch another deer. Poor thing. She's got to touch every single deer head in this game, apparently. They, there's probably an achievement through Epic Games for that. Okay. Um, I could store some stuff. I, oh, it's way... So I'm going to have to deal with it. Oh, there's a container back this way? Oh, well, I'll take the long way back. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I, I want to get that fucking rifle. We'll get it, don't you worry. Wall.
Ha! Manuscript page. <clears throat> Gail Barrow stared at his chest X-ray. It was in his left lung. It was in his left lung, felt like a black hole and opening to darkness. It felt like he was drowning. He coughed and coughed and coughed. So hard his whole body and soul felt twisted and mangled, upside down and inside out. With every cough, the black hole grew bigger. It felt good. It tore him up, but it felt good. Gail was dying. The black hole was sucking everything good out of him. He imagined looking through it into the darkness. The black hole grinned. Gail couldn't escape its gravity. He worshipped it. Gail sacrificed to it in blood. Gail Barrows. A violent outburst resulting from rapid onset dementia should be restrained whenever possible until a dosage can be found that impedes. Depression. That sucks. That's who was probably just in here. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Ah, just out into the right. This should be... Oh, here it is. Shoebox. Lunchbox. Um... I don't think we need all of these painkillers. Obviously, you can put the flares away because I'm almost never using them, I guess. Um... That's ammo. I don't know how big the rifle is. I get... Two minis and one big. That's good for now. I got three other painkillers sitting right there. Oh, there's the rifle ammo. I don't know if it's going to be all five. Otherwise, I would take the ammo. I just don't know. We'll just we'll take the trip over. Not a long hustle. Oh, wow, it was four. Had five rounds in it already. Let's go. Love to see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, what's this? All right, I'm going to go grab that ammo. I don't know why I keep doing a big circle. So annoying. <laughs> I'll take a stack of those away. Just so there's an opening for something else. Should I need it? Sick. All right. door could be opened now. Shit. What is that? God damn it. What's up, big meanie? How we doing? Son of a bitch. Jesus Holy fuck.
Well, at least he's not suffering anymore. Big meanie, welcome in, my guy. Hope you're doing well. Holy fuck. The blood splatter? Need to catch up with Tor. No idea where the fuck he is. He didn't stop here to get breakfast. Lost and found mittens, homemade, notebook full of daily meal plans, nice fountain pen, antique hair clip, very pretty. Address in, uh, address inquiries to your friend Rose. Find a box of ammo for hunting rifle in the cafeteria. Rose, I think you left some behind again. You really should be more careful. Take a tip from Vlad, a fellow weapon enthusiast. Always lock it up. Come collect it for me whenever you can. I bought that tea you said you liked. I can make you a cup if you want. Uh huh. See what you did there. going that way. This must have been Tors. Oh. Oh! <laughs> Fucking son of a bitch every time that old lady. Oh. Excuse? Here. Okay. It didn't sound good. <laughs> At all. One of these now. I meant to fucking use the pills. Oh, dummy. Oh, it's just a flare. Well, shoot. That's not good. What was that? Where did Tor go? What on earth do you mean, Sokka? Tor is resting in the wellness center. Remember? What? We both saw him go into the pond. <laughs> okay. Are you fucking with me? Or, or is this a story again? Now, now. Let's cool it with the language. She's clearly lying to me. Why? <laughs> Rose's lies. Rose watched Tor go into the pond. Why is she lying to me? The secret mission for Alan's number one fan. The hero will say Wake has returned. We're all characters in his story. G Wiz. G Wiz. I'm not his fucking character. But I can use that phrase to make Rose stop lying to me. Wake has returned. Huh. Cynthia took Tor. What happened to her? When the darkness touches your head, your bookshelf gets shuffled. I put her lamp in the shoe box. What do you call a lamp lady without her lamp? Is Rose talking about Cynthia or herself? Or both? 
Hmm. Smoke well, skeleton in front of the small gathering smoke was about the skull will become in front of the Grand Master. Uh Pond. Just appeared into the pond. It's another overlap. Has to be. How do I get inside? Wake told Rose to look for the hero. She won't help anyone. Hmm. Oh, wow, no, that's all closed up. Thanks, Saga. Oh. Uh, for later. You got it. Rose. Um, Wake has returned. My God. <laughs> You're the hero. You're here to save Alan. Oh, I feel so silly for trying to keep you out of the wellness center. I locked Torengale in there after they lost it, and I didn't want you getting hurt. <laughs> Before I forget, here's the page Wake told me to give you. Oh, and you'll need my keys to get around. Thank you. Fucking weirdo. Saga jabbed the selector on the jukebox. The missing record in its place. Saga couldn't have found it without Odin's help. A light bloomed in through the garden window. The horror story beat me to Tor. I have to rescue him. The key to this overlap is an old Gods of Asgard record. Odin will know more. Getting there, Saga felt exposed, expecting the shadows to come alive. The crackled on the vinyl, the song swelled. Odin had said it was written for her and her mother. Her grandfather's apology. The lamentation of an old man. His heart was broken in darkness. Odin had said that the song would be a way to know Tor, a way to find him. Light a light bloomed in through the garden window. There's where Tor. I knew which. Time to profile the boy. The page mentions a missing record. Do you know where it is, Odin? Driven by passion. Raging like a storm. Your grandfather made the song to apologize to your mother, Freya, and to you. Tours like a storm. Your mother did the right thing, leaving with you, even if it broke your grandfather's heart and mine. Listen to the song, Saga. It's all there. Tor only had one record made. He keeps it in the museum. Odin knows my mom's name. He's saying my mom took me away when I was still a baby. Plausible. Stay on task. The record is in the museum. Do 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 do. <sighs> the page says the record will open the overlap, or is the page predetermining it? Am I just playing into the story? We also have fact versus fiction. Mom moved away with me because of poor torn to apologize, but never got. Sorry. Why did mom leave? Well, here we are. Dick to Yeah. Rescue to uh, tour for the overlap. Check the nursing home's museum for the record. Uh, where the fuck is that? Huh. 
I don't know where the mu- Oh, you know what? I should just look around for the other maps. Uh... Here we go. Here's the wellness center. Okay, where's the museum? Museum right here, and it's locked. This is the second floor of the... Center? Yeah. Okay. Manners to my left. May the TV give me strength. Okay. Read this one. Odin Anderson stirred in his bed. His vision was hazy, smudged, felt weighed down by an ocean of dark water. Through the haze, he made out Saga. Odin felt useless. He wished he could tell Saga how his silly faces made her smile when she was young. Too young to remember. Odin used to joke that Tor was her grandfather, but he was the all-father. He smiled at the memory. Odin was the of the Anderson brothers. Tor lacked patience, more volatile. Brothers fought a lot, but they were inseparable. Now Tor was missing, dragged into darkness. Odin could feel it. Time was running out for both of them. No. <clears throat> that is or in Odin's room right here. Behind me is him. What? I already read that. What am I supposed to do in here? Oh, right. I'm okay. Well, I didn't find a key, I said it was locked. Maybe it's in that note and I should read a little glimpse again. <sighs> nope. Didn't really jump off the page to me as, hey, this is a puzzle. Should be over here. Oh, yeah, I have the key fob now. Duh. Oh, there's the record. Angus Remorse. Asshole. This is the one. But it's gone. Cynthia has the record. Great. She will tell me where to find it. Oh, bitch. Cynthia targeted Tor specifically. Why him? Deal with a nasty Anderson fellow. His heart was broken. Cancelled. 
Leak started appearing. It was too late. Shut her out of her own case. The dark presence is using Cynthia to keep me from talking to Tor. Where is Agnes' remorse now? He is a young girl in love. A broken brawl to exist. The shadows to come alive. A gift. An on of death wish. She has the record. I can get it out of her. Anga's remorse. Where is it, Cynthia? Drowned beneath dark water. Too many hands. The bath bomb frightened her. Cut short. She screamed. And all folks care for. You put it in a bathtub. The Angus remorse record is in Cynthia's room. In hey. her bathtub. Great place for it, I suppose. Anger's remorse is missing. Who took it? Our shame becomes the pale horse. Oh, Tor. Bro. Tor's love for you is in that song. That's why Cynthia wants it. To ruin him. She made Tor lust after her. We fought one scratching hag years ago. Now he's fallen for another and we might lose him for good. One less Anderson. That isn't going to happen. Cynthia has torn the overlap. Anger's remorse is the key to get there. I need to make Cynthia reveal its location. Okay. Now we have some stuff. Eastboard to handle. All under the Anderson brothers. If you wanted the record, Tora would have done anything she uh -huh. Oh, Cynthia and Tor. Cynthia tried to drown the record in her bathtub. That's not right. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Cynthia seduced Tor to keep him away from me. The record's missing from the museum. A bathtub. A pond. A lake? There's a theme here. Good. Okay. Yeah. This. Crashed hotel rooms and roof. Old gods of Asgard, a band member dead. Bob Bald or Fat Bob, as he was freshly and ironically called, died from complications of a severe illness. Must have been the. No, oh, he was a good, another guitarist. Oh, I thought this was another one. It's just a pin. Okay. Uh, this is Cynthia's room is another flight up right above Odin. Conversation in that room. I heard Cynthia's door is definitely locked. It's spread out. I may mean, have a fob, but on here. Oh hey bud. Do you know anything about the cult of the tree? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Who reaches for a spruce tree will stumble into a juniper. Bloom was one of them. He has kicked empty. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be in his shoes. But I like his shoes. Oh, but I like his shoes. How did you know Blum was part of the cult? Oh, Fox never runs out of tricks. He's a crazy man, and he will show his ways. <laughs> Bloom like to talk.
anything else or no all right while i'm in here oh jesus I'll go through your shit hope you don't mind it's zero o'clock literally stuck at midnight go to bed all right so that wasn't super helpful like i thought it might may have been you know what an open door take a look around just in I've probably, I'm pretty sure I've been in here. Yeah, oh, oh, yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. To get to the other side. Well, 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 well. I mean, I can go into Gail's room, right? Uh... I guess I could check all the floors, all the rooms. I want to. The fuck? Oh, manuscript page. Very wheel that canceled the old gods tour. Called it off. It was over. He couldn't stomach the idea of another client dying on him. He set up a foundation with the sales of their greatest hits album. Used the cash to build a nursing facility. The old men deserved it. An old manor in Bright Falls. Wheeler hired a contractor to have it refitted as an old folks' care home. At this point, Wheeler felt good about himself. He had a heart of gold. No need to feel guilty. Wheeler left the work to the contractor to return to New York City. He had done his part. It was time to turn over a new leaf. Contractors figured out Wheeler was gone for good. They took the money and ran. When the fall rains came, the leak started appearing. Oh, that's awful. Bunch of fucking assholes. I'm going all to, I'm, before I go to hers, I need to see what's in all these rooms. Please allow. Why can't I use the fob? Son of a... It's not going to show me it's locked down. Dummy. That's locked. Obviously, Cynthia's is locked. Conversation back on the first floor, apparently. Um, alright, so there's really only one more to go after. Oh, Fucking. No use crying in the dark place. What has been, has gone. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. Why don't you go fucking check it? But look out. You can never know in which tree the devil sits. The basement. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot, Dillweed. Alright, well. Down to the first floor we go, so I might as well try to have that conversation. Never mind. Isn't it? It looks like it's outside. It might be. I'll check in the lounge to make sure. Oh. Hey, Saga. Welcome oh, to the Jesus. Is there anyone who didn't show up? You, Artie, Gail, Cynthia. If they oh, aren't here upstairs. by now, then they aren't coming. It's important to be. Punctual. Gail is not there. On that topic, I'd like to point out that our nightly decal. Her fingers all bleed. Oh my god. Behind schedule. Have any of you noticed anything odd about Ms. Weaver? Just that Tora won't leave the poor woman alone. That brute wants one thing, and one thing only. My Cynthia's Lord. gotten downright bossy. Take a swim in the pond, Norman. Drink some water, Norman. Well, no one tells Norman MacDonald what to do. Yeah. <laughs> Mandy May, are you all right? You're bleeding. Oh, how did that happen? Oh, no, Mandy May. Oh, no! Oh, don't be a crybaby, Norman. It's nothing. I just poked my finger knitting this 
monster of a blanket. You all should stay out here a while. Until it's safe. I'm happy to get out of that house. Isn't it strange that I've lived in Bright Falls my whole life and I can't remember this building? The house has always been here, Norman. Remember when that poor Nora girl drowned in the bunker? Those Andersons got it so cheap because it's haunted. You get what you pay for. Great. Thank you all for the cut. Hello there. Are you Pat Main from the radio? That's me. And you're the federal agent everyone's been talking about. Would you have time for an interview at some point? Oh, sorry. Bang, I'm kind bang, of in a hurry bang, right now. Bang, bang. Love your show, though. <laughs> Very informative. Mm, thank you. Never compromise on quality. That's my motto. Yeah, we'd be happy to have you on the show anytime. Me and my listeners. Well, thanks. Nothing for you. Norman, nothing from you. Alright, thanks for the convo. I'm gonna go find the fucking basement Why now. Are we out here again? <laughs> Why are we out here again? Oh, basement. Go through to the... Dining room. Now... Oh. Wait. Huh? What noise was that? Oh, it's right there. Okay. Let's see, I see. This sucks. This, yeah, that bolt cutter rifle. The uh, bolt action rifle is uh, is is great for slower opponents. Um, it's about time we uh, change that up a bit. Oh. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Oh yeah, all right, so we're up here, the no power. Use yeah, yeah, in yeah. The dark place. What has been has caught. But trouble doesn't look like this. You can go. Do I have to go re-talk to them? I really don't want Bother. Fuck it. Before I go out, oop. Before I go out there. Let's, uh, quick slot this into three. Huh? What did I, I do here? Bolt cutters. Oh. Shit. I went the, through the wrong door. I'm 
Wow. It's just, it sucks when I'm trying to, like, hear the axes get thrown, and I have to dodge that. I also have to dodge the attack, so if I dodge too soon, he readjusts and hits me. And if I dodge too late, the fucking axe hits me. Not easy. Just need a fucking AK or something. Crying in the no one was crying in the dark. Not a speed has caught, but trouble doesn't look like this. You can go to the basement and check the generator. All right, so through here. I could also just run. Oh, my God. Key fob's no good without power. this uh, manuscript page. Billy used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back and on and off death wish. Billy had seen a thing or two. Billy paid a lot of money for a good shrink. I'm himself convinced that all the nightmares he'd seen. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. I'll be right back. <laughs> What the fuck? God, okay. Time to go. We're leaving. It's been <laughs> that was fantastic timing, but what the fuck? Dude, what the fuck? Flippers off. My feet are fucking hot. What the fuck? Oh. Actually, hold up. Hold up. Hey. Go over there. I got like these nice wool socks on right now. Nothing like a nice warm fucking sock in winter. Because it actually got fucking cold here out of nowhere. Not out of nowhere, but it's it's Massachusetts. We have hoods. Yeah, there's nothing really doing here. With this door. <gasps> oh my god! Fucking Christ! 
Holy fuck, dude. That son of a bitch. I don't know what to do. What the fuck? Bro. Bro, no, 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 no. Get out of here. Oh, I hate it. I hate it. No! <clears throat> well, this is fucking screwy. I don't even see that one. Okay. Ooh. I can unlock the door to the corner. I hope it will lead me to the gun. Nice. <laughs> Come on. Tara Cars, it's a woman. Uh, Dowson Rods, 30, 30 years old or older. Yep, shown 60. Killer's green eyes. Yep. Um, and then... Yeah, she was at Old Home at the same time and hour as Robert and Ruby's death, whereas Annabelle was outside. So that's it. I don't think we need to even do this. <gasps> God. Oh my fucking God. Oh, oh, oh. No! What call failure is not the falling down, but the staying down. Mary Pickford. It's time for the next game, I think. Oh my god. What? That's adorable, I love it. Um, oh no! <laughs> Let's make sure these windows are fucking... Oh, tap, tap. Who the fuck just used that tree, you fucking prick? Oh my god. <sighs> Fucking son of a bitch. Bus. What the hell is that noise? Fuck, I'm stuck. What the fuck? Gotta be a no phone line. <laughs> Jesus, fudge fucker. <sighs> I have no words to be hitting pause and also me dying on the inside. <laughs> dying on the inside, not in game. Fucking cats not Oi. Christ. Oh my god. Otherwise, I would have been collecting it for sure. Did I die? Am I still right yep. <laughs> you gotta do them all one shot. That's what I figured. Oh, God! Jesus fucking Christ! Wow. Oh, my fucking head hurts from that. Why are you laughing? That was fucking scary. You guys are me. <laughs> you guys ever, like, listen to this band before? They're really good. Okay, fine. I'm kidding. All right. Cheers.
Oh my god. I can't even chew it, it gets worse! Oh my god! Oh, that was close. That was close. I thought I was about to toss my cookies. That's not an Icelandic delicacy. Child's play. I honestly know. <clears throat> What's this? Right in the middle of juice in that engine. What's this about? Knoxler. What's up? Oh, that's, that's good enough say. for me. What the fuck? I didn't even do anything. <laughs> exactly what? my point. Where? You didn't do anything. <laughs> Where did that goofy fuck go? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Shit! Oh my god! Oh boy! Oh! All the jump scare compilations are there. Um, there's also a TikTok which hey, I forgot to add. Have oh, you heard god. the new dual CDs that Napalm Death just announced? No? Well then, CDs not selling. Oh my god, no. Whoa! Down here? God, I can't fucking see. <gasps> <gasps> Holy fuck. <gasps> oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Honestly, this game's kind of shitty. Oh no! Whoa! Um. Sorry about that, everybody. I am back. Um. I didn't realize I didn't put any music on. Sorry about that. So many of these clips are bangers. Well, I'm glad you think that. Um. Shit. out of the game okay here we go okay um so real quick before i read the story amanda came home with a mixed four pack from the brewery she went to up in maine uh here's the blue slide park oh this is all from odd by nature brewing by the way the blue slide park is a sour ale with raspberry pineapple and banana then there's the Where Dreams Come True. And uh, I love how it's goofy and mini in human form. There's uh, sour, sour Ale with Pineapple Dole Whip. Um, and then there's the Oktoberfest Fest Beer. Very straightforward. Cool, cool. And last but not least, the Sun Sucks Lager. Complete with Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> um I kind of want to drink one of these. One Oh, this is the this is the fest beer with Madagascar vanilla and and vanilla, vanilla wafer cookies. Fuck, I'm going to have that one. <laughs> Uh, 
All right. Cheers. And then we'll get reading. I just wanted to share this with everybody. See, so yeah, here it is. Best beer. Got the Nello wafer cookies. <laughs> All right, let's see. A little bit of vanilla smell, but the rest of the beer smells there. Feels like fluffy almost. That's nice. Something that I'm sure <laughs> many Germans would stick their noses up to. All right. So, it is time. I am here to read. Well, you know what I'm going to do? No offense to Twitching Tongues, but I want to see if there's like Play next. Okay. So yeah, quick backstory. Uh, I wrote this back in 2010 like April ish. It was either March or April, but more likely April. Um, it had to be uh, a short story under it, part of this uh, haunted literature seminar that I was in. And uh, it had to be based off of an Edgar Allan Poe story, making it modernized. Spooky sounds. Okay, so the story is an adaptation of Edgar Allan Poe's Fall of the House. Hello. Welcome in, Father. All right. So it's an adaptation of Edgar Allan Poe's Fall of the House of Usher. If you've not read Fall of the House of Usher or you've not read any Edgar Allan Poe, Highly recommended. <clears throat> um, so just adding a little bit. I, I wasn't looking for this in particular. I, I wanted some. How about this? I just want that ambient background. Okay. Uh, so one thing that. Uh, I can't, I need to kind of like make note of. <laughs> Hola. Uh, at the very top, there's this line. Whoever finds this note, please tell my story to the world. That is italicized. Um, and what it is, it's supposed to be our character um, writing, like breaking the fourth wall and saying like, hey, if you find this, please tell my story. So... <clears throat> Uh, all right. I'm trying to think of, like how many pages. Got it. All right. So, hello. My name is Mia Brown. I was 23 years old. Having found this letter, you clearly know that I have already moved on to the next life. I have died because of something that I cannot even put a name to. You must read this and show it to the world so that no one suffers the same fate as I. In return, you can have any of my possessions you seek guilt free. This is July 5th, 2011. My boyfriend of three years has... Thank you. <laughs> My boyfriend of three years has just asked me to be his wife. His name is Rory Brown. We were married in October of the same year on the beaches of Honolulu in front of a small group of family and close friends. Rory and I both live in an apartment in Los Angeles right down the street from Dodger Stadium. Also nearby is my work. I'm the director of the Weston Bonaventure Hotel down in South Figueroa. Figuero, Figuero, I still cannot pronounce that. Rory Gilmore? No, Rory Brown. If you may know, I got such a high position. If, oh, sorry. If you may know how I got such a high position, it was my father's doing. He's a CEO and president of Starwood Enterprises, and he wanted his little girl to help in the family business. Once Rory and I were married, it seemed as if luck was on our side that both an apartment and the director position both opened up for us. It was as if everything was supposed to happen for the better. 
<clears throat> oh, hey. <laughs> February 23rd, 2012. I'm woken up in the early hours of the morning with an awful migraine. I went to the medicine cabinet, grabbed some Advil, and returned to sleep. I woke up again to go to work and realized that the migraine is still there, but it is weakened. However, it bothered me that it lasted the rest of the day. When it finally subsided, I simply had left my worries. I simply let my worries go. Just it merely been the stress of my job. I worked for Starwood. Yes. You think, what do you think I pulled that name from? <laughs> March 2nd, 2012. Once again, I had woken up very early to find the migraine had returned, and it was just as bad, if not worse, than weeks prior. My vision was blurry as if I was trying to swim in a pool with my eyes open. I found my bottle of Advil, went back to bed, and prayed that it got better. Unlike last time, this episode did not wane at all. I called my assistant and let him know that I would not be in the office for the day. Throughout the day, I could feel as if a vice, if a vice was on my head and it was slowly being turned. <clears throat> Rory even came home early from work to check on me. I ended up missing two days of work because of the migraine. Rory and I decided that this was to happen again and I would see a doctor about it. March 15th, 2012. I had a dream where I am trapped in a dark area and I can neither move nor scream for help. And I felt a deep burn in my head which woke me. Migraine returned and I leaned over and woke Rory. He looked at me as if he had seen a ghost and quickly calls 911. That's when I felt the warm, sticky liquid run down my lips. The thick, salty blood was pouring out of my nose, all down my nightgown and all over the sheets. An ambulance rushed me over to the hospital as Rory pulled close behind. Paramedics had to use countless gauze for the bleeding and ice packs to cool me down. I was so scared and in so much pain that I finally did black out. <clears throat> March 16, 2012. I awakened a day later, still in a lot of pain. There were IVs and all other sorts of cables and wires running from my body. Rory was sound asleep in the chair next to me. I called for the doctor to see what happened since my ambulance blacked out. Dr. Gordon, saw reference, explained to me how my temperature climbed to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. I was having numerous seizures. The doctor then said he thought it could be stress-related, but a CAT scan was needed to be sure. Hours later, I heard news that changed my life forever. Dr. Gordon told me that there was a tumor towards the front of my brain, pushing up my frontal lobe. He said that more tests needed to see if it was malignant or not, and that future actions would be taken as soon as possible to avoid any future episodes. Roy held me as I felt myself falling into the mattress of my bed. March 17th, 2012. Dr. Gordon took more tests, which I gave him a lot of blood. Later in the day, he walked in with the ghostly face and sat down on the end of my bed. Rory moved in closer and held my hand. Dr. Gordon told us that the tumor in my brain was an inoperable brain tumor. He also added that in the past few hours, it appeared that the tumor had actually connected itself to my frontal lobe of my brain. The only option was to remove the tumor and a small portion of my brain. The last bit of information hit the hardest, and that was that I had roughly three days to either go through with this very risky surgery or chance that this tumor could and will grow larger until it literally squeezes my brain through my skull. Through tear... The fucking funeral music already? Holy shit. Slow down? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I read very quickly. Um, okay. Through tears, I told him that I would go through the surgery tomorrow. Rory looked at me and smiled through his tears. He told me that everything would be okay and he loves me. March 18th, 2012. I was nervous from the moment I woke up in the morning. I had the dream again about the dark place and inability to speak. I prayed to whatever God may have been watching and listening to help me in my time of need. Dr. Gordon came in around 11 and told me it was time. I was prepped for surgery and wheeled down mazes of hallways, surrounded by medical staff, Dr. Gordon, and Rory. We got to the operating room doors and I stopped them so I could say goodbye to Rory. He kissed me and said that he would be here waiting for me. I told him I loved him very much and I would see him again soon. I watched behind me as the doors closed out, out my image of Rory. Shoveling. <laughs> I was looking up at the ceiling of the operating room as bright lights blinded me. Dr. Gordon asked me if I was ready to continue and go under. I told him I was as ready as I would ever be. He then placed a mask on my face. The air smelled stale and then I realized I was falling asleep. My body went numb from my toes all the way up to my head. My vision blurred and slowly faded to blackness. Then I realized something was wrong. I could still hear everything being said in the operating room. Dr. Gordon told his staff what needed to be done and then called out commands of the procedure. I tried to tell them I was still aware of what they were saying, but I couldn't make any noise. 
I frantically tried to move my limbs, but they were numb and felt as if they aren't even there. Then I heard a noise, a noise so ominous and obvious that I stopped thinking altogether. A power drill is screaming in my ear as it approached my seemingly sedated body. Suddenly I felt the drill break through my skin and blood run down my face. I wanted to scream, but I knew I couldn't. Then the drill broke through my skull and sent an awful noise through my cortex that I can only describe as the sound of fingernails on a chalkboard amplified exponentially. I felt the doctor and his team of surgeons digging around in my head, touching the tumor, my brain, my skull. The cold blades entered my brain and dug away at the very front of my frontal lobe. And something happened that is very hard to comprehend, even for myself. I feel as if I'm falling asleep again, and I'm already in this vegetative state. I didn't quite understand until I realized my pulse was gone. I could hear Dr. Gordon and his team scurrying around looking for tools. And I heard the word clear and felt a sensation run through my body, only to go numb again. Again that sensation came, but I go back to my numb state. Again and again. I got the shocking sensation, only to be numb again. Then I heard Dr. Gordon say words that I don't understand why he even said. He called out the time, 12.24 p.m., and then said the word deceased. How can I be deceased? I could still hear him speak, and I could still feel these sensations of air hitting my open wound in my head. Then I heard Rory's cries of sadness. I wanted to yell to him and tell him that I'm still right here, still very much alive. Then I heard Dr. Gordon rush him away. This is the last time I ever hear Rory's voice again. <laughs> really bad timing, random music. <laughs> Over the next few hours, or maybe days, I was lifted by numerous hands that placed me in some kind of vehicle. I feel every little bump in the road as we travel to some unknown destination. The car stopped and I was once again lifted and brought into a building and down a flight of stairs. Here I am laid down onto a cold surface where I felt my body got colder and my hospital gown is removed. I was then moved around in very weird ways. My legs were being lifted, then my waist, then my other leg. Now it seemed a bit warmer and the cold from the surface is almost non-existent. Have I become someone's dress-up doll? Then something pierces my lips. And my lower lip is pierced too. Then the top lip again. And then it occurred to me that I was getting my lips sewn shut. I was being prepared for a funeral service. What seems like days passes until I'm in, put in some cushioned bed with a cushioned wall. I'm rolled around a few hallways until brought to a stop. The next few hours are a scrambled mess to me as I heard so many voices. I couldn't even recall what was said or even whose voices I was hearing. What I do remember is a lot of crying and many thank yous. I wish I could tell these people that I was okay. I just need to be woken up or something. I'm not dead. This is all just a big mistake. Again, I felt my casket rolling along through the funeral home and out the front door. A couple of people then picked me up and carried me to some kind of contraption. They wheeled me into an area. I quickly realized that this was a hearse and I was going for my last ride. I heard the hearse's engine roar to life and start to drive away. I pondered where this transport would stop when suddenly I realized that we were already at our location. The back door was opened and I was once again lifted by many people. After a few steps, I was lowered onto some sort of table that had wheels that was wheeled down some hallway. I heard a door open to the sound of beautiful pipe organs. Then brought to a stop and the pipe organ stopped playing. Then a man started speaking about me, my life, and my unfortunate death. It hit me finally that I must be in a church. Just when I made this realization, I could hear my father's voice over a loudspeaker, talking about memories of us from when I was a child. A few other people came up and spoke too. One person, however, did not speak, and that was the love of my life, Rory. I hoped he would have something I wish I hoped he would have said something just so I could hear his voice one last time. The pipe organs once again started playing, and I was being wheeled outside yet again back to the hearse. Having gone to so many funerals before my own, my guess was that our next stop was going to be my last. After what seemed like hours, the hearse yet again came to a stop. The back door opened and I was lifted out and brought to a rest on top of some sort of surface. I could hear the wind billowing through the small cracks of my deathbed and it made it hard for me to hear what the preacher was saying. Suddenly I heard the song Amazing Grace being played from a speaker and many people weeping. 
Then my father thanked everyone for coming today and that they were invited over his house after for refreshments. This was about the time where I tried to move any of my muscles to try and generate some sort of movement and noise so my family can try and revive me. It was clear that I had failed when I heard numerous doors closing and engines starting. Here I sat for hours until I heard some men talking about some baseball game approach me. Again, I try to move, scream, anything to get these guys' attention and save me from this nightmare. When I felt myself being lowered into the earth, I knew at this point that I was doomed. My body could still generate tears and I was releasing many of them. I heard the sound of metal scraping against dirt and rock, only until moments later hearing it bounce off my casket. Minutes go by and I still hear the shovels, the dirt, the rocks, and the men's voices gradually growing non-existent. Finally, the sound of falling ground on my deathbed had stopped. There was no sound left to listen to. No men burying me. No wind. And no crying people. All I had left to listen to were my thoughts and pleas. But then something happened that I don't think anyone will believe. I realized I was crying again, but could feel tears running down my face. I felt my eyelids opening and closing. Then with a sudden jolt, my pulse returned to life. And I could feel the blood throw my flow through my limbs. I felt like a jello mold as I slowly as I slowly ventured my casket with my hands. I found that there was something on my chest that I didn't realize until now. A small smooth rectangle and a bigger rectangle that was hard with something pointy in it. After playing with the object for some time, I managed to open the smaller rectangle, felt around in the rectangle, and found some sort of wheel. Is this my wedding zippo? I quickly flicked the wheel and a spark was made. Tried again only to get another spark. Tried and tried and tried until a flame finally lit up my resting place. Around me were pictures of me, flowers, pictures of friends, my jewelry, even my CD collection. Also my casket was the large rectangle. It turned out to be this very journal. My Rory's journal. He kept a journal from the day he met me until the day of my supposed death. The sharp object in this was a ballpoint pen that I used to write my story that you are now reading. I then used the pen to draw blood from my hands to write you the message on the roof of my burial chamber. So that is my story, and I hope you share it with as many people as possible. I do not know if this has happened before or will ever happen again, but it needs to be recorded. As promised, you could take anything in here as long as you take this journal with you and share the story within. For this, I love you and wish you the very best in life. I will stop writing and I will lay here until either suffocation or hunger takes me from this life. Thank you again for everything you will do for me as my last wish of being alive. Goodbye, my friend. Mia Brown. And that is the story called Living to Die, Dying to Live. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it. Hopefully it was better than this ambient background music. Creepy as fuck. Thanks. Thank you, Riz. <clears throat> don't mind me i'm just gonna find some new music really quickly because uh <laughs> this was something else here yeah, this works uh yeah i um i was really proud of that when i wrote that um one thing that my professor at the time had said she wanted to see if i if i ever do another revision if i could make it shorter and like, there's definitely ways I could. Um, but I don't know. I haven't really ever gone back to it or writing for that reason. But like, I always enjoyed creative writing exercises more so than like analytical stuff. Um, yeah, appreciate you all. Thank you so much for, uh, well, for one, getting us to a, getting us to the milestone so I could read it, and two sitting in and, and, and listening and I thank you tree for the heads up to slow down. I, I, that has to happen every once in a while. Just the way of the Northeast, I guess. Uh, okay. Much as I love this song, uh, we're going to return to Alan wake here. So, uh, let's do that. Okay. So we were, Reading uh, Barry Struggles with Artists. Uh, 
Billy used to be the agent of a manic depressive celebrity writer, Alan Wake. Wake had various addictions on his back, on off death wish. Wheeler had seen a thing or two. Wheeler paid a lot of money for a good shrink. God himself convinced that all the nightmares he had seen leading up to Wake drowning himself were just imagination. PTSD. Now he had pills to keep the shadows from his sleep. But the Andersons were something else. Nightmares were starting to creep in again. Maybe it was the drugs in the air. Wheeler hoped it was the drugs. The Andersons were so old. Vampires. After every gig in the party that followed, it took them weeks to bounce back. They never did completely. Each time, Wheeler expected them to croak. Reminded me of a... Ma Magnus Chronicle? What's that? I've ever heard that before. Oh, look what I found. Oh. Fuse is blown. Of course Maybe it there is. Are spares nearby. Why do I still have the doorknob if I used it? There. Fine. Ooh. Hold up. I saw yeah. Oh, it's ammo. I mean, still good, but not what I actually need at the moment. Can't. Yes. Oh. Oh, a podcast. Nice. Thank you all for your feedback on that. Fucking rules. I'm glad I'm glad you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Emmett Elwood has had enough. All his life he'd been surrounded by the same small minded, impolite, ignorant people in town. Their endless gossip, their nose picking, chewing food with their mouths open, not washing their hands after visiting the restroom, touching things, touching everything. The world was going to hell. He'd watch day after day how all the nice things in life and bright falls were spoiled and ruined forever. There'd be a just and terrible reckoning. Emmett had imagined many times how he'd make them pay. He had lovingly tended his anger, made it grow hotter. He was out in the open now, ugly and slobbering. They reached at him with their unwashed hands. He could keep them down. Eesh. I'm assuming I have to go in there. Um, and I will. I just need to look around everywhere else first, because that, that sounds like a terrible idea going in there. Sick. Bro, spare fuse is now locked away because someone, Adi, keeps stealing them. Boat is in the laundry room. Gotta go to the laundry room. Okay, you know what? Let me go through here and see what's down over here. Laundry. No, this is not the laundry room. What's in here? The fuck was. There are lots of noises. I don't like it. House of Zane, renowned, renowned filmmaker, establishes artist community Bright Falls. Thomas Zane and his partner Barbara Yager, Yager have recently established an artist community here in Bright Falls. Dean has purchased the old manor house outside town, and the couple has already settled in. Uh, excuse me. His home country internationally as well. Mr. Zane is a well-known respected auteur filmmaker. I think they meant amateur, maybe? A rising star already compared to the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Ingmar Bergman. His earlier film, Nightless Night, when a Punch number... Punch her in the cooter, I don't give a damn. <sighs> excuse me, bitch. <laughs> Thank you for the pits. Uh, Mr. Zane is currently in the process of filming a feature entitled Tom the Poet. In conversation, Mr. Zane comes across his charismatic figure with big dreams. He talks about building a hotel and a film studio in the area. He has a name picked out for the hotel, Ocean View Hotel. Cool. All right. Done reading that. Get it. He's super cool. Oh. In combination before that, I guess. Um, 
Let's turn this on. Maybe this will help. The power's off. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Good call. Cynthia Weaver had always kept her lantern close. Someone in the bathroom with her. In the dark. Dark water pressed itself into her. She screamed. Lily Weaver hated being old. She'd been a doer, a fighter. Now the bathroom frightened her, afraid she'd break her hip like Norman. Cynthia had always kept her lantern close to hold the darkness at bay. Oh dear, my lantern, I think I've lost it, Cynthia said. Just put a smile back on your face, my dear, a voice said, a man's voice. Went on the bathroom with her, in the dark. The light bulb had blown. She meant to replace it days ago. How could she forget? She had slipped getting out of the tub. She lay in the tub now. She lifted her hand. It looked wrong. Too many hands. In a black void with no sense of up or down, she was underwater. Dark shape pushed her down. Dark water pressed itself into her. It screamed. It came out in bubbles. Big ol' yikes. Okay, so that opens all of that up now. Rifle ammo. Cool. Code is 273 Rose. If you see this, please remind the Rose to leave my stuff alone. I think they hate me. Seven three. Okay. Sick. And we have a fuse. I just gotta find my way back. I feel like... Oh, that was you. I'm like, what is going on? There. Power's back on. This is... Thank you for that. Thank you for the biddies. I don't have a map down here, do I? Oh, I do. Point of interest. Straight ahead. On the other side here. Here we go. Remember, buy more fuses. Many more. Right below equipment keeps blowing them. Jesus fuck. Thanks again. Please. Careful, Saga. The whole one eighty. Oh, some arrows. Um, okay, let me make sure I do this correctly. Oh, wait. Did I have two of them? Um... Fuck. Both. I know it would make more sense if I just used one of the smaller ones. Heal up and then pick this one up. <sighs> Nothing else in here I can really go with at the moment. Okay. I have to get back inside. Wait, there's still a point of it. No. So I touched it. 
That's ridiculous. Jesus. They won't follow me, they're stupid. Are you still here? Thanks. Jesus fucking Christ. Stop. A down? Was Cynthia into civil engineering? Oh, well, well, well. We picked everything else up in this room before I picked it up. And Cynthia would deal with the nasty Anderson silly. fellow, Tor, always poking people with his hammer. He had it coming. Yikes. Uh oh, all right, I don't know which one it was. Oh well. At least Alan read a couple of little bits of it. Got here. The dark presence uses people's memories, their fears to corrupt them. I guess that makes sense. Station. Everyone oh, is yeah. angry, I guess. A lantern. Lantern. Was Cynthia using it for protection? Did she know about the dark presence? I feel like I'm missing some context here. Uh. I'm guessing the woman in this photograph was not Cynthia's favorite. Shocking. This. <clears throat> For a very special woman. Towards a romantic, huh? Let's go to the case board. Chocolates. Which from the journal she was afraid here in whispers. Walking against him, Cynthia. Deal with the nasty Anderson fellow tore anything. Um, okay. Uh, something for the story folder. Oh my god, we have a lot. But it's all for later. Dun dun dun. Oh, I forgot to do our profiling. Back to Cynthia. Thomas Cynthia Zane. Cynthia was close to someone named Thomas Zane. <coughs> Tom had enemies. In a fancy old tale. Just his imagination. The nightmare started to creep in. Cynthia Weaver smiled. An old flame. Maybe Tom was taken. Possibility. Now what? Oh, right, I didn't pick that up yet. Return to Sherpa. Dummy. Anger's Remorse by Old Gods of Asgard. I need to play it in the jukebox. Jesus fucking Christ. Stop. Fuck, I hate it. 
All right, I think there's a jukebox down on the floor. Station is one here. Unless, of course, there's one in the museum. That might be the that might be the way. Going to the stage, unless. You up to? I use this fucking thing yet? Damn it! I want to go in that room. It sounds so enticing. Spiral on the door too. Shoot the shotgun, you idiot! Can't open doors, I don't think so. The song will show me the way. Look in the mirror, the cobweb of my soul, of my face forever, seeking to be driven by passion. I need to do the key up now before I forget. Sounds like we were about to go into the darkness. And I drove away. Let's go. Fuck you. Well, we're here. All right, we're on to the overlap. Tor is here in the overlap. Gotta find him and get the fuck out. Uh, the piece of the story. Oh, we actually have to enter the dark place by playing Torn Odin's song. Overlaps require pieces of art to enter. Is that because of the dark place's focus on art? Possibility. <clears throat> Assuming I ain't gonna find a map in here either. On too soon. Bright Falls. Body of missing youth discovered flooded fair. Oh no. Article about my daughter. Oh well, oh well. Place. 
I, I'm almost positive I don't have a map for this, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oops. That's not a button I wanted to press. Where the drowned lady? Where the drowned lady? There's a uh, lots of drowned ladies here. Oh no, am I in a PT hallway? Am I going in circles? Yep. I'm gonna eventually turn around, but I feel like I've been here before. That was silly. So for those that haven't been following along too much with the Alan Wake stuff, this is essentially like the upside down in Stranger Things. That might have been fun. Boy. Too fucking quiet. There's somebody. No power. Of course. Switch. What the fuck? I need to get the power on to use the switch. Perfect. <laughs> Replaced. Oh, it's enter button. Oops. Suck. just disappeared the light did that <laughs> interesting at least I have a safe place to run back to if I need to Wait a minute. Another big circle. It's a loop, like the others. I need to reach the center. Huh? Cynthia. She's here. I think she's the drowned lady. A dead end. Oh. Which way did I come from to get there? staircase
Bolt cutters, let's fucking go, dude. Oh, wait. Let me pull this out first. Locked. The key has to be nearby. You know what? It's probably in the light. Come on. There's the key. Whoa. Need bolt cutters for that. If ammo. Alright, I'll turn the power on in here and see what that does. Oh. Quite different. Aha! One? No. On the table. Ooh, we got some over here, though. Rise, we don't more room for those. Now I'll shut this light off. Then unlock. Thank you. Fucking big. Keep all the lights on because fuck the dark. Oh, we do have to shut this one off though. I can actually get to that door. Oh my fucking god! for that. I don't need to go back right now. So big, we got those bolt cutters. That's not good. Oh my god. Fucking looped again. Oh, but that thing's a little different. Back again. Gotta go deeper. Now there's different areas. Nothing in there, evidently. Nice. Got another one? Yeah, I think. 
It's really giving me a lot of, uh, a lot of healing mechanisms of late. Power. Oh, fuck. You took Tor. I'm here to take him back. I need to get the lights on to reach him. Daga. It's so damn dark down here. Underwater? She's trapped me at the bottom. I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think I need this after the power is on. I get it. Shut up to the wrong place. She got me, boy. Where the hell is the power on this place, anyways? Probably all the way over there. Must be a way to get the power back on. You have to get there. I have to go to the left, I guess. I gotta get out of the water. Yeah, yeah, I know. Is there an opening right here to the right? If not, it doesn't look really good. Okay, good. Call an ambulance! Call an ambulance! But not for me. Can't climb into there. Shit. I made it. We're good. Oh, damn it. Scared the fuck go? out of me. <laughs> it's right there. I wonder if I can climb up. Yep. Oh, right there. I'm 
I'm not leaving you here, Tor. Hold on! Go here. It's not. It's cold. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. Where was it? Hell. Bar. We maybe hold the flashlight up. Oh, fuck. Okay. Can we get up? I can't fucking... I can't do anything. The game's fucking busted. God damn it. I hate when that happens. I can't do anything. Yeah. Just give me the reload. It bugged out. It happens every once in a while. No worries. Got this. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Mark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hello, I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. That did it. Immediately takes out half my health again. I can't do anything again. I can't do anything. I literally can't. I can't shoot. I can't use my strong fucking battery. I can't switch weapons to heal up. I think this needs to be a, uh, a restart. Fortunately. One second. Restart it. Reload it. Why are you not starting? Here we go. Coming back up shortly. Audio. Here we go. Hopefully this does it. We can actually do this legitimate 
boss battle. Because, like, there's a little fuse inside. I don't know why I would want to destroy a fuse. I feel like that's what I do. Okay. Cynthia took the record and I brought it back. Dark. I can't see a goddamn thing. Alright, so it's. I'm pretty sure everything was good until I got down there and she hits me with her attack. I'm sorry, I fucked everything up. And the you flashlight doesn't work on her. Yourself. Yeah, those lights right I'm there. I'm getting you the hell out of here. That did it. Or not. I think I just have to shoot her then. Oh, I'm too close. That thing goes after me in the water. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, apparently that thing just chases after you regardless. Doesn't matter if you're in the water or not. Right? Okay. Yeah, this is just a... It's like, hey, we built all that ammo up in your inventory. You need to go and use, like, all of it right now. Oh, okay. Thank you. Great. You took the record and I brought it back. Mark. I can't see a goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. What? Fuck it. I'm sorry. I fucked everything. Up. Use the fucking you rifle. You apologize to him yourself. Last this. I'm getting you the hell out of here. That did it. Oh, I see. I can use the flashlight on them. Jesus Christ, dude, she's fucking agile as fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck off. This fucking boss battle, dude. I don't know how many times I gotta fucking put shots into this god. <sighs> it's gonna take so many batteries trying to not get hit by those things or take them out. This boss battle's gonna take a while. I can't see a goddamn thing. <sighs> Tell Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize to him yourself. 
I'm getting you the hell out of here. That did it. Fuck, dude. I can't dodge anything of hers. Okay, so I went right through the wall. That's cool. Yeah, this, this boss fight's gonna be real fun. What the fuck? Again, I should have had a death count. I brought it back. I can't see a goddamn thing. Get the fuck up. Sorry. Thank you, Truth. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. That did it. It's like impossible. Oh, for fuck's sakes, dude. Yeah, I'm thinking I probably should have had some flares. I don't think I can backtrack to a spot where I can... Yeah, because this door got shut on me. Fuck. You can apologize to him yourself. I'm getting you the hell out of here. It'd be real nice if I could find that shoe that box. It. Most sad. I, of course, all of my, uh, all of my flares are in the shoe box. I didn't have space for them in the inventory. It wasn't really... Now I look super stupid. I feel like the best idea was with this hunting rifle. I'll try to keep it up. Then we'll switch over to the pistol once I'm out. The best option I think we have. Oh my god, dude.
so stupid, dude. Get out of the corner, get out of the corner, get out of the corner. Fuck. It's so dumb. You can't do anything to them. <laughs> they get faster. Your your battery, uh, like your flashlight, doesn't fucking kill those things. And I feel like if you do, if they're too close, it still hurts. I'm gonna be on this all fucking night now. I can't see a goddamn thing. Hello, Odin. I'm sorry I fucked everything up. You can apologize tired to of the same dialogue over and over again, too. That did it. Wow. Come on, come on, come on! I can flashlight! Thank fucking God. Oh. And yeah, a hunting rifle was everything. You again? The FBI. The FBI. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wake. Where are you? Is this coming from the dark place when you were still trapped? We can finish this. What about the clicker? No, 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 you can help. We, we must find it. I already have it. I can get it to you. But I have to understand. Did you write Logan into the story? He's in danger. I need to get back. I'm writing a story. It's the only way. Then change the story. If this is the past, if this is you still in the dark place, then you can do that, right? You cannot write her in. She's my daughter, goddammit! Logan is in the story. I can get him to change it. I have the clicker. I'll make him change it now. He had no right to do this to Logan. To my family. Uh, oh, fucking hell. Uh, Are you okay? Uh, 
Hey, it took your sweet time to come save your grandpa, huh? Nice Harris. A family trip. Hello, friendo. I thought it was another uh, fake raid. Uh, you're right. Sorry. Sorry. Funky Plus hobbies, that. disco snails. They're off to San Francisco where the disco's off the rails. They meet and dance to disco in disgusting <laughs> garbage bales. The after parties in your garden where the. Well, that was something. I'm sure we'll get another one. Yep. No, I have a fucking key. <laughs> Chabula! <laughs> Bitch. Nice. Getting out of here. Nice, I trust Harris. it. I'm just running. <laughs> Welcome in, Miami Chan. Welcome in, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Um, how how was stream, Eris? Tell me all about it. I'd like to know what you were up to today. The land of Twitch. Uh, we are currently playing Alan Week 2. And I just got through a boss battle that was... It took me a couple tries, but it was a very difficult boss battle. Super fun. I was doodling some beans with knives. That is dangerous. But that sounds awesome. I'm looking forward to seeing what those look like when they're done. Uh, yeah, welcome everybody. My name is the Juggernaut. Call me Jug, Jugs, Juggies, whatever. It's all good. I'll respond to it. Um, I would totally hype up CEOs of Screams, but I'm assuming if you are here from Eris Ignis, you know all about the CEOs of Screams. You may not know about Channel 13 Horror, though. Over on YouTube... A bunch of uh, content creators got together and um, we all made content for this channel called Channel 13 Horror, which is just a giant jump scare compilation machine. You should go check it out because if you're watching horror streams, usually you're looking for jump scares. Not necessarily to scare yourself, but to scare, you know, watch the stream to get scared and get that reaction. Uh, so check them out. Hit the subscribe button over there. It's free. You know how it goes. Uh, and then last but not least, uh, this is a special month for me. It's my anniversary month. Of streaming um however we are doing uh as always really <laughs> it, it's called jugtober and you can see that i have incentives and milestones you can also hit the exclamation point jugtober man if you want to see it again cover my ugly face up uh we have some individual incentives and we have milestones uh up to and including five thousand dollars right now we're at seven hundred twenty three dollars and eighty four cents not counting like ads and turbo and bits and subs from today um but we will uh i'll be able to update that soon but the next thing we're trying to get to is 800 dollars. and if i get there i have to dress up like an oktoberfest party member complete with the knee-high socks and uh this is all all for charity hope for the day uh they actually work on um <laughs> i'm glad you like that uh hope for the day helps with uh suicide prevention and awareness uh excuse me so it's something that's been truly uh awesome to to raise money for over this this is the fourth year we've done it uh we broke five thousand total um in three years so that's why I put a stretch goal for another five. Like, if we're able to do that, that's insane. And I will shave my fucking beard for it. Also, why did my music just... Counter the network issue. Better not have. All right, we're good. We're fine. Scared the shit out of me. I know, I guess I broke it. I don't know fucking how. All I did was sit here, trying to be beautiful. <laughs> but yeah. Thank you so much for dropping in. Um, please, please, please only donate if you are, well, for one, able to, if you'd like to, and um, any little bit matters. So please don't go overboard. Don't um, don't put yourself into a, a shitty situation. It's, you know, charity is, is good, but you got to take care of yourself uh, first. Uh, and of course, even if you're not able to donate, nothing wrong with that. I love having people in here regardless of what time of year it is. Uh, you can also share the link. The link is in chat. There's a Tiltify link. Uh, there's also the uh, the QR code. I was like, it's not QA code. QR code. 
top left hand corner of the screen and that should work by scanning off of uh using a mobile phone and just scanning it off of your screen um but yeah uh feel free to share that out the more people that know about it the better and uh yeah we were playing some Alan Wake 2 and we just I think we're finishing up this chapter right here I'm gonna snooze that ad because yeah anywho <laughs> Let's uh, start back up with this. Thanks for helping out an old bastard like me. That's oh, and if you dig my subpar, no. mid-tier gaming content, <laughs> that follow button's down there waiting for you. I'm going to jump into Lurk while I go feed the puppos. Ooh, fun. Give them extra lovings for me, please. End of chapter. Skip. You and I need to talk. We need to talk. <sighs> Damn right. Lots for me to explain. But not here. The night's got ears. We can have our talk in your head you have a room there right how do you know about that i'm your grandfather <laughs> what don't i know am all right i'll see you there you know about my mind place how is that possible we all have the power find the truth damn right i do Odin already told you you're a seer. You can gaze into their heads, see the truth. See past the lies. Past this bullshit horror story. Us Andersons aren't bound by it. You can fight it. Don't be the story. Make the story. It's true. I am a seer. I have the power. My mind place is more than I thought it was. This isn't my intuition. I'm seeing their thoughts. Is this why I know the truth about Logan? While everyone else forgot? Interesting. You said you were my grandfather. If that's true, why wasn't I told about you? You were part of our fucked up family. Way before this horror story. I was a shitty fucking dad to Freya. <laughs> Your mom didn't deserve that. Not one bit. Things were said and done. Not a day goes by I haven't regretted it. But that fucking father of yours didn't make things any easier. I know Freya is gone. So I need to apologize to you. I am sorry, Saga. I can see he's sorry. Mom said she didn't want anything to do with my grandfather. And that my father died before I could remember. It all matches. Tor and Odin are part of my family. You said you were a shitty father to my mom. Is that why she left? Freya never looked back. My girl was strong. Freya always thought our powers had a dangerous side. Odin and me did fuck with things that should not have been fucked with. Your mom had common sense. She raised you right. Kept you safe. I'm not surprised she didn't tell you about the Anderson power. She was always protecting me. Whenever I told my mom about my mind place, she called it make-believe. I wish she'd been more honest with me. At least towards the end. Mom wouldn't talk about my father. You knew him? Some doors are better left closed. Your dad was a complicated <laughs> bastard. Best. Always thinking too many steps ahead. That's not how we work. 
There was trouble, and then he was gone. I didn't handle it well. Freya didn't want anything to do with me after that. I can't blame her. I never knew my dad or my mom's family. So many broken relationships in my past. I won't lose mine. With Logan. With David. I won't stop until they're safe. Yeah, the I have the clicker. Can I use it to save my daughter? An amp. Get your guitar roaring and your drums crashing. Blow reality's eardrums. Just the light switch isn't enough. It's Tom's story we're dealing with, so he's got to be the one to rewrite it. After that's done, he can flick that switch to bring the whole thing home, baby. I can't use the clicker without Wake. Tom. Meaning Wake. I forgot. He needs to rewrite the story first. It's fucking I can't calling stop him the Tom. Story without him. All right, cool. Go to the radio. I can go roll over whatever it is over here. Or okay. All right, the Anderson brothers. Wake wrote Logan into the story. He had no right to use her like this. There is still time to make him fix it. I won't give him a choice. It's clip. But before my father had problems, there was trouble for he took people. Mom thought Tor's power was dangerous, didn't want to ground it. The way Tor behaved? I'm surprised my mom hung around for as long as she did. I don't know, since hours, but he is genuinely about, sorry. Chris, have, have a normal life. I don't know understand the true nature of the mind plays. Ah. Uh, nope. My place isn't some mental technique. It lets me see, and see the truth. Tor and Odin can actually speak with me in my mind place, thanks to their own powers. Tor and Odin are my relatives. The evidence fits with what I know is true. It's a lot to process. As Wake wrote the story, only Wake can edit it. Wake needs to be the one to rewrite the ending. Look, her ex like me. I'll need to keep an eye on him. Probably change it to Mexico Heart. Oh, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the mob. Family is immune to the effects of the story because of predatory power. Hmm. God damn it. Oh, well, my memories change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The story doesn't affect me like it does other people. Because of who I am. More. Here you run an overlap. Because There's of my family. Floating. There are literal overlaps between our world and the dark place. Did Wade Oh, Jam, thanks things? for the lurk. I appreciate it. That's all we can place for now. Our goal is to. Go to the sheriff's station, give the clicker to wake. I can also investigate the previously flooded area. Thanks for telling me this, Tor. I need to go find Wake. To stop this. The old gods of Asgard will be ready to help. 
Me and my bro will bring the rock when you need it. Remember, your daughter is alive. Just kept from you by this bullshit horror story. I needed to hear that. Thanks, Grandpa. Sure. Don't worry about me, kiddo. I'll drag my sorry ass over to Odin. A few shots of the Anderson's finest will fix us both up. Well, good. Right up behind me, let's do a big circle. I don't care about going back inside to any of them. The FBC is holding Wake at the Sheriff's Station. I need to make Agent Estevez understand. They have Wake and I have the Clicker. We have to work together to stop this. Casey. Do you read me, Casey? Damn it. He better be okay. <clears throat> Cynthia Weaver Focus, was down. Saga. Get to the station. To Wake. Cynthia Weaver was downstairs at breakfast. Rose snuck into her room. With all the lamps in the room, it took her her a while to find the one with an angel. Luckily, the dream Alan had sent her had been very clear. Rose was certain that Cynthia would not miss one lamp. She had so many. Tonight, Rose would put the lamp in a shoebox and let it sink into the garden pond. That's what Alan wanted. That's how she could help him. Thought made her whole body buzz with joy. Cynthia knew the lamp was missing the very moment she came back to her room. She was overcome by grief. It had been Tom's lamp. One of the few things that reminded her of him. The nut worked in a long time with the cord severed and the light switch gone. There are other kinds of lights that the ones we could see. The visible light of the angel lamp had held Cynthia together all these years. Tears welling in her eyes. She didn't see the shadows shifting in the corners of her room. Uh, oh. I think up in this gazebo. Yep, another one. It's 1988, a face-off between deities on the rim of Cauldron Lake, high above its dark waters. Thunder roared, the old gods facing something even more powerful, something harder to define even. Change the perspective, raving lunatics all, caught up in the frenzy of a shared delusion. The old gods, the corsairs of the Sea of Night, the dark one who yarned, yarned to stand in between, but always stood in between, soon stand in between. We help you, you stay away from our family. Anderson snarled over the thunder. Yes, until you all come to me. It's never going to happen, shouted Odin. I will take this as a collateral so you'll remember our deal, said the Dark One. Blood arced from Odin's face as he fell to his knees. Lightning hit the dark figure on the cliff, and with that he was gone. Thor rushed to his brother. Are you all right, bro? Practically blind in that moment, the eye patch covering his left eye. His hand over the now empty socket of his right, blood oozing out of it. Odin cursed. The bastard took the wrong eye. Oh, no. And I think we have. Oh, yep. Get the clicker to wake and make him fix his attempt to play God. That's the plan. But the FBC have him. That's a problem. All right. Oh, look what I have. So I gotta take left, second left. Meanwhile, holy fuck. I have two of those? Okay. here. This is the path I want. Oh.
big circle. Are they fucking with me? Oh, there it is. Sick. Big circle. I want to find the fucking key. Oh boy. The lake. Ooh. Got it. Can't hide from the trees, we're everywhere. Take off this hoodie. Oh little little hot in here even with the fan on. Now, where's the next one? Straight, take a left. Go. It's getting dark. Yo, Donny Mommy, what's up? How you doing? Everything is well on your end. Just uh, playing more Alan Wake 2. I realized I haven't switched to Alan in like three streams. Array ammo. else in here though okay hold on it's a safe room now here we go There's the shoe box. Okay. Oh, I didn't see that. Eighty-first annual Deer Fest is just around the corner. Everyone in Bray Falls is bustling. 
for banners to be hung, pies baked, deer masks sold, Bright Falls and more had made the top 100 American small towns list for its modest rustic charm. The town expects a lot of tourists this year. But a shadow hung over the deer fest preparations. The forecast promised rain. Fearful whispers promised more murders. Police were on high alert. Sheriff Breaker deputies patrolled the streets at night. Bright Falls was no stranger to odd happenings. Cancelled deer fest? Out of the question. The townsfolk were anxious. Their anticipation mixed with fear. People had restless dreams. The lights seemed dimmer. Blood water pressed in on the town, and the shadows poured in with it. Let's switch switch realities again back over to Wake if we wanted to. I don't swear to Oh, hey, bud. Starting carnival music. Ooh. God damn it. I hate having to kill the big scary doggies, but they're big scary doggies. Okay, moving forward, and another, uh, the government seized the land around Cauldron Lake, set their laboratory there. Ilmo Cascala knew they knew something. Together with his brother, they felt obliged to take a look inside. The Federal Bureau of Control security was a joke. Cascala's walked in delivering coffee. Back and watery, they poured over the stack of files they'd grabbed. The FBC was researching something in the lake, something they called the Shadow. Everyone who went into the lake came back a monster. Hartman had gone into the lake. He'd come back bad. The FBC had captured him, interrogated him. Based on his ravings, Barbara Jagger had gone into the lake as far back as the 60s. He'd come back bad. Writer Alan Wake has gone into the lake. He'd faced J Jagger, switched some mystic light switches into a hole in her chest, flicked the switch and gotten rid of her. If Wake ever came back, he was bound to be bad as well. Uh-oh. It's not good. I have to go back up this hill. I think there's the other wolf is up here. Pretty sure there were two. Yep. Saw the paint up there. there. It is another cult box, another locked box. Light bulb. Oh, the TTS fuck up again? God damn it. 
National electoral policies no longer interest me. The Supreme Court just reinforced more legal bribery. I held on as long as I could, but voting is like my beard. It covers up the real face of the twisted and the beard. I shaved my beard. I shaved it off my face. I shaved my beard. I shaved my beard. I shaved it. Oh, oh, hey, I said hey. <laughs> Fantastic. It's only two. Third one. Oh, right here. So it should be in order. Sideways triangles. Uh, sand dial triangles. Bangs. I know, I'm sorry. I'll have to figure out what's going on with the TTS thing now. So this was that one, and then this was that one. One was kind of like fang looking. Unless it's supposed to be the other way around, like it's this, and then it's actually that. Yeah, okay. Flashbang. Oh, I didn't read that. We just got word that the feds have Alan Wake in custody. He came out of the lake. He's dangerous. Everyone be on high alert. We need to take the writer out. Spread the word. He needs more V-Sync. Absolutely needs more. Dash found the wood. Great falls. Three. Take the writer out. Hello. How would that not work? Or why do they want to kill Wake? out of mix it up entirely no connection to mix it up overlay if the updates it's a messy update that it's not. honestly probably after uh It could also be that the API endpoint I use for the TT. On. Now, if I just do a nice little uh, fresh. Now, now I have to make this right. Go to this one, this one. I think it may have been two characters. I'm just trying to see if I can get it to play once at like <laughs> any length. What the fuck? There's no special characters in there at all. 
Sorry about that. I'll have to fix that after stream. That's really shitty. Let's see. Next one. On the ranger station right there. <sighs> the, uh... Of course, the bot fucking shot, uh, sh uh, shouting me out because I refreshed, mix it up. God damn it! Hey, bud. Found the case right here. Oh my god! Monsters. That's one way to think of it. Small pills. There's another cult stash. I can't even fucking read that. I still have these keys up here under items like move them down here some oh you know what? it might be the uh it might be the ranger station I'm gonna go over here though and see if I can get some health back Nothing. Not even a drip of health. Thanks, Light. Yep, right here. Oops. Oh, uh, this has to be a screwdriver job, right? Yep. Fuck yeah. Another one of those rhymes. God needs their mother to keep them safe, and home is their hiding place. Because outside the monsters roam and chase, when they ring your doorbell, don't yell. But tell them to go away. Give them treats and pray. They won't rock your house down to the ground. I don't know what to make out of all of those. Which, no, I found another one. Test sites in Bright Falls location range. Ranger Station, Bunker Woods, Boatyard. Dr. Campbell acknowledged and understood. That goes for the both of us, Michaels and me. Believe it or not, 
gallivanting, thing, as you put it, though, is I was attacked by some rabid animal out there in the woods, and Michael's helped me get medical attention down. Draw that if you read your messages, of course. In any case, orders received. Vega, assistant researcher. Turn my attention to both of you have left your post on several occasions while on duty to gallivant around town in personal business. Unacceptable. You're under strict FBC protocols regarding covertness and confidentiality. And as your supervisor, I'm responsible for your conduct at all times. I find the work boring too bad. You're going to fulfill your roles and duties that I see fit and as the project requires. Changing your post. I'll be overseeing the watery area. Now has the most test sites to cover. Ranger cabin there will be my base of operations. Vega, you're moving to Cauldron Lakes, which finder station. Michaels, you're staying in the Bright Falls station. I don't hear any excuses, but I do need you to acknowledge these orders. Dr. Eugene Campbell, PhD lead researcher. Department of Parafictional Research. Okay. Back upstairs. Oh, another one. On greener pastures now. Really likes the deer. Bathroom. There. One. Child doll. Only one I found so far. Concerning. There was one up here. Okay. Nothing else in here. Just looking. For, I'm hoping to find a key or something here. Pretty sure I had some key stuff here. Three rhymes, okay. I had some bright falls. I don't know what the fuck that picture was supposed to show me on top of that box. We'll look at it again. They're back? That's not happening. No fucking battery. Oh shit, I forgot. God, I fucking I pinned the wrong fucking message. None of you said me. Oh no.
that far back already. Oh. What's this? There's one right here, I think. Inventory full, huh? Since when? I guess because I didn't. Oh, my quick. Was my quick save before I put that stuff away? I think it was. Yep, it was. Another cult box. Another locked box. Go back up here and I'll take care of the changes I made. And I'm going to quick save it one more time. I don't have to redo this whole thing. Yo, Dolly, what's up? Good morning to you. Oh, yeah, because here's this fucking thing. I hadn't found it immediately. Shoebox. Get the fuck up. No. You can't tell me what to do. Hi, Meg. You haven't bought that mouthwash game, have you? Um, I don't think so. Ooh, will do. No, I haven't bought it yet. And how are you today, Meg? Hope you've been well. Drink of this here water. You've got a code for it? For me? I'd love you forever. I mean, I already will, but... My first triple raid today. I was so excited. Holy shit. That's awesome, Meg. You won it? Oh, wow. I appreciate you, Dolly. I'll definitely be playing that soon. Come on, go down. You're not gonna get hurt of fall damage. Passing it to me. No. Well, I'll make sure I play it real soon. Cause I've heard nothing but good things about it. Can't stay because I'm tired, but I'll send it to you now. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, it's it's a little early. I totally get it. These dumbasses. Please, no. Oh, 
Oh. Oh, for fuck's sakes. We will watch each I'm never gonna get used to this. I don't remember um, seeing all of that. All those dudes down there, so that's cool. if this door opens oh yes it does there's nothing here screwdriver door Another one of those rhymes. Yep. It would make those gurgling noises. Ugh. even upstairs at all but I'm gonna back. Whoa. Oh yeah. On greener pastures now. Oh yeah. Go place quick. All the keys. No fucking batteries at all. Yard, right. I don't think I can hit this cold stash right now. I'm just not. I'm not strong enough. Definitely, like it's. I need. I need batteries. There's gonna be at least three of them up there. Evidently, they like to respawn. We'll take a look see. There's Good. another cult stash. Still have no idea what that's trying to tell me. Oh, it's just a key. Fuck it. You know one got time for that.
that boat just fucking appeared there. There's a rhyme over here. There's of course there is. The beach a child went wandering. Pretty shiny rock she's gathering. But from the water a monster rose, a horrible beast with a pointy nose, flapping wing and dragging toes. The child was wrong. It was her mother all along. The boat grabbing a towel that's already gone. Interesting, there was no doll here to pick up. What is that? The coffee time thing. Coffee world, rather. Back on the path. Okay. Here we are. Right through the back of it. Fucking batteries. Another battery. Fuck yes. Up next, we had um, we had a guest lined up, but I have it written down here somewhere. What's this say? James. Bigger Another oh. rhyme. There's so many of them. Five little monsters out in the sea, competing to see who the winner will be. They rocked their boats to find out who floats, until one little monster did fall. Mama called out to the sea and cried, and the sea she replied, On the bottom they will rot if they will not stop rocking their I'm hoping to see if I get on this boat. I guess not. That's it for the boat yard. Let's see. Should nurse times. Uh, let's go get the bolt cutters and get that stash. Then we'll go and save up and be done with it. It is 12.54. Those people just burst in here and expect us to clean up after them. Here it is. Finally. A 
another one of those cult boxes. Work log journey first. Overprivileged town all folks complaining about poor TV reception. Hoping not to do any job. 17th of January. Took a photo with the giant moose statue in the park. Great memento. 2nd of February. Damn dogs keep digging up the flowers. 31st of February? Park's trash can needed a fresh coat of paint. Painted an extra layer. March 3rd. Tried to paint the large tree in the park. Weather was too hot. Pulled down on a bench in the shelter and had an epiphany. 26th of March. Replaced a screw on the purple park bench. Okay. Finds the symbol. Assuming all listed here. Well, I mean, there's three things to choose from. Excuse me, are you watching me? Where's the fucking park? time the sacrifices we made the pain it's happening again we learned from the last time didn't we God, how we treated it. got one of course it's a goddamn scavenger what Choose an imagery for commercial like I don't know in what order. Everything sounds like it's at the park. This one here. I'm sure. Hope so. Here's the bench. Hi. Triangles and talk to each other. There's another lunchbox. We didn't believe how hard it was to track down these lunchboxes. Thank goodness for the internet.
I've only found two things so far. I think I'm only going to get two out of them. So two out of the three symbols. Got you in the park, didn't even see that. There. way through works I thought this would be a quick grab and be done with it. I don't know if there's a point of interest over here or anything. Lux. Oh, and the cold stack down there. Who's scared shitless? Aha! Uh -huh. TV. So double up triangle first. Fuck yeah, baby. Monsters live in the woods. back down towards the water I'm gonna go and check to see if I can get in get this last box and then we're gonna save the game uh, all the night my first day at the new job tomorrow you can't
Another cult stash? One, two, three. Okay. There's symbols on it. Nope, it's numbers. Find big old buoy or something. I'm gonna find something that has like three prongs come out of the top of it. I said like prongs. Deal with it another time. Way to get wrapped. Manual save. Okay. That is gonna uh, do it. I am one tired juggernaut, that is for sure. So I am gonna quickly see who we're going to be raiding this evening oh g rope is streaming we haven't raided him in a minute he's playing inscription good game we played that here Oh. All right. Well, thank you all for hanging. Alan Wake 2 continues forward. Um, hope you all liked the uh, uh, the, um, <laughs> the short story. And uh, yeah, we're doing good. I'll, I'm going to check up on the funds from tonight's stream, and I'll be adding it to our total. Uh, looking forward to see how this upcoming week's going. I will... Try to get to work on the schedule tomorrow night. Um, unless for some reason I have a miraculous amount of time tomorrow to work on it, which I doubt. <laughs> uh, but yes, let's get the raid ready. Here come the raid messages. Uh, the top one with our emotes you can use if you're a subscriber. Everyone else can use the line below that or whatever emotes you want. Uh, also, Consider doing me a huge heckin' solid to follow or subscribe. 
Excuse me. Either to follow or subscribe, whatever is the free option at these um, particular platforms I'm on. YouTube, we post up a VOD Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do a YouTube short. Uh, in case you prefer short form content over on TikTok, I'm also over there posting at the same times, same day, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Uh, also, uh, Twitter, it's it's not a great place, but I'm there and I like to troll dumb people. So come hang and watch me make a fool out of a bunch of dummies. And uh, last but not least, Discord, our home away from home. Come hang out over there. We're going to be having a, an Among Us community stream coming up soon. There's going to be a Jackbox party game coming up soon. Uh, we had wrestling last night. Uh, Question of the Day bots off and running once again. Uh, oh, and then memes, 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 and memes. So it's pretty good. If you have, uh, if you feel like you can join another server, come join ours. We're trying to hit that 200 person mark. I think we're like 180 something odd. We're getting there. Anyways, I get this raid sent over to the one, the only G Rope, or as I like to call him, Gut Three Rope, as if his name was Gut Three. You can call him Guthrie when we get there. It'd be pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna go chill, get some sleep, and hopefully tomorrow goes well. And uh, I'll catch you all. Should be on Tuesday night this week. I don't think I have any weird stuff this week. Um, should be a pretty normal week. But uh, stay tuned, and I'll let you know. All right? I'm going to get out of here. Go have fun with the G-Rope himself. See ya.